Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to easily create low content books so that you can sell it on Amazon KDP. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are back in BookBolt. Now, if you don't actually have BookBolt or you'd like to get yourself a copy, the, there's going to be a link down below. And it's also going to be a product code so called Product Creation Formula. And just copy that code straight into the checkout section and you'll get 20% off. Now let's just quickly have a look at the pricing. If you're deciding that you'd like to do what I do and that is pay for it per year so I don't have an ongoing cost every day, every month, I like to go yearly so I've gone the $89.99 per year. But you might want to go the, the Pro which is $199 per year. Just as I said, remember that the code down below will give you a 20% discount. So if you want to get the 20% discount, check out the code below and you won't regret it. It's a genuine 20% off too. And, um, but outside that, let's get rid of that right now. Now let's go have a look at what we have to do here. Firstly, let's go over here to your name, assuming you've signed up and you have got a paid account. I'm going to click on that and we're going to go down to BookBolt Designer. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to just sign in. Of course I'm going to blank all that out. Now we have the option of having a cover right now so I think we're going to keep it as a cover right now and then we're going to go trim size. We're going to go 8.5 by 11 we're going to be using black and white pages. We're going to be using white pages. And the reason why we're doing that is primarily because colored pages or cream colored pages are different thicknesses. And that will affect the thickness of your cover and the spine size. So we're going to be making this 365 pages. And we're going to hit submit. Now this will take a couple of minutes. So right now we're just going to pause the video while we wait for this to do it. Okay, we're back. Now, all we need to do, if you'll see this, you'll actually see this is where they do the, Amazon does the cut, where that dotted line is. And this is the spine width. And over here is the right hand side where you'd be wanting to focus most of your attention. Now over here, this is the back cover. This is the front cover over here. Now you've got templates, you've got clip art, you've got text, you've got images, and you've got shapes and drawings and various layers, as well as effects and masks. Now let's go over here. Let's go have a look and we shall put in an image first up. And I like to go to the resource section. So we click on there and we're just going to type in here daily planner. Click on that. Hit search. We can scroll down through here and have a look here. You may or may not like anything here. I'm not really keen on any of that. So let's get rid of the word daily and we'll just make it planner. Hit search. Oh, that's much better. Scroll through here till we find the one we're after. That one looks nice. So let's just click on that. Now, what we're going to do is going to go over here to the right hand side. You see where it says position? Click on that and then position that up to the top left hand corner. And this is beautiful because we've got all these lovely images right here. I'm going to expand that up till it covers the page. And I'm going to bring that down just a little bit so as it covers it just nicely. And this way, you get the white book plus some of the mouse, some of the keyboard, and also the pen. Now, if you don't like particular like the background color, you can go over here where it says remove background and you can then change that up to remove some of the background. So you can go like that and I like going about there that looks yeah I might make it a bit more. 
There we are. And you can also choose a different option here. We can go uh, over here to Magic Wand and click on that. And maybe choose black and white. We can do saturation. We can do that. We can also do contrast and brightness. Or we can do satire. Sat we can do that. It doesn't really matter. Personally, what I will do is I'm going to put that pink background back in and then make it black and white. And there we are. We now have a lovely grey background and it just makes it much nicer to work with. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can start adding some art or clip. You can start using some word art if you wish to. Now, I tend to you leave these ones alone because they're a bit more complicated to work with, harder to work with. I'll just give you a quick example. So you grab that and you drag it across and put it there. And then you just type in here. And as you can see, it's a bit funky to work with. So I don't particularly like it. So I'll get rid of that. So in this particular case, I'm going to grab the Anton, drag it over here. I might expand that up so that it takes up a large portion of the page. Drag that down because it's nice and dark. We can make it a bit darker if we want to. All we want to do is put down here Daily Planner. And of course that's too big. So we can hit back and down. And this way it covers the majority of the page. Scroll down. Now I'm going to go over here to Arial. Add that over here. And that will do for the size of that. And we're going to double click on this. And we go 8.5 by 11. And that will do. Now if you want to do putting the words daily planner along here. All you have to do is choose the word, choose the one you want. Go daily planner. Point five by eleven. I better make sure I capitalize the D. We hit OK. Now we double. We just click on that, and then we can rotate that around to make sure it fits inside the bleed. Now, if it doesn't fit inside the bleed, it's just a simple matter of adjusting it down a little bit and taking it to making sure it's inside the spine, and that is fine. Now if you wanted to add some text here to write something about the book, you can do that as well. And that is pretty much finished. Now the next thing we can do is we can go over here to the interior sections. We can open that up in a new tab. And assuming you've got the paid version, you can get this one here and you can go through here. Now the pay, you can also get this in the non-paid section, but I don't have that uploaded right now. But you can go down here and the one I'm choosing right now is a daily planner and I'm thinking either this one or this one. But I'm thinking perhaps this one will be good. So I'm going to just click on that. I'm going to go with bleed. I'm going to be making this 8.5 by 11. But in this particular case, I'm only going to be making this a page count of one. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to hit download. And that should download as a PDF over here on this page here. And that is exactly what I want to see. Now I'm going to just go here. I'm going to download this to my desktop. Change the name in just a minute. I'm going to call this one page. Daily Planner one page and hit save. Now, I'm also going to go to GIMP because I mean I use GIMP all the time. Let's go over to open and scroll down. And remembering I saved it on my desktop, it should be under Day Planner in a PDF file. Pay it one page. There it is. Double click on that. We hit import. Now that's a PDF. What we need to do is turn this into a JPEG. 
And to do that, it's a very simple matter of just going down here, export as, well, actually it's got to be a, P, a PNG file, and go dot PNG. And then all we have to do is maybe change the name, maybe make it number two, and it'll just save it where we brought it in from. You know, export. And there we have it. Now that we've done that, what we need to do is go over here to our PowerPoint presentation. Let's now open that up. What we need to do is go here to design. Go over here to slide size. We can go custom slide size. We need to be going 8.5 by 11. We're making that one 11. And over here, I like to also go OK. We're going to be making sure that's in sure fit. And what I really don't like is I really don't like those boxes. So I'm just going to hit the layout, click on that, scroll down, and hit blank. That's much, much nicer. Now let's go to insert. Let's go to picture. We're going to go this device. In just a moment. We go down to our desktop section, scroll down until we find Day Planner 2. There it is. Double click on that. And there we have it. Now one of the things I neglected to do was to do two pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm now going to go New Slide. I'm going to grab that one and take it to the top. Now what I'm going to do here I'm going to click on this particular page and I'm going to duplicate that. I can either do that, right click and hit duplicate, or I can just hit Ctrl and D and that will duplicate it for me. Now I'm going to be doing this approximately 10 times, maybe even 20. Probably 20 would be better. And that will take it up to 21 pages. Now, what I plan on doing here is going holding down the control key, clicking on that, clicking on that, and clicking on all of these ones until I have covered every single one of them. Until every single one of them is clicked. There we are. Now, all I have to do is go control D, and I've just literally done 20 at a time. Now we can go control D again. That's another 20. Control D, that's another 20. And we can just keep doing that until we get to 365 pages. It doesn't take long when you've got 20 at a time. I mean, you can do more than that if you wish to, but I think it wastes time just trying to do that. Scroll down, see how many we've got. Okay, go there. Okay, another 20. Now, in this particular case, course you're getting close to the end I would highly suggest that you just go click on one of them and then just go control D until you get to 366 there we are now what we need to do is go back to the very top click on this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to insert I'm going to go to picture I'm going to go online picture and in just a second I'm going to be putting down here page borders. Wait for that to come up. And that looks lovely. Any one of these will do. Uh, as a daily planner goes, I think this one will be nice. Or, yeah, no, this one will be nice. Click on that. We can hit insert. And there we have it. Now we can obviously expand that up so as it takes up the entire page there we are now all we can do is go to home go over here to this one here go to shape click here highlight over the top of this go there now i'm going to centralize it and type in the words this planner 
belongs to oops it is it and then maybe make that a bit bigger maybe make that 40 or 36 32 that's a good size yeah, tap down a couple of times and then hit control oh, sorry hit shift and underscore so as it does that and there you have it completed and all you need to do then is hit the save the save as button now I have other videos showing how to do that so I'm not going to worry about it in this particular video then over here we're going to go down and we're going to save this as a PDF we're going to go to my desktop I'm going to hit save as PDF and we're going to be calling this daily planner and then we're just going to check, take it over here to the desktop making sure that's there and I'm going to be making that one word instead of two and we're going to be making that 8.5 by 11 and then we're going to make this one say with border there we are I'm saving that on a desktop all good we can hit save as and in just a moment it will download it and put it on my desktop and I'm just going to pause the video while that's happening and as you can see let's shrink that down a little bit I made a mistake actually when I did this and it's interesting to see that I've made that mistake I never thought about this until after I, until after I'd done it and as it was downloading it dawned on me that I made this mistake let's go back over here we need to actually include making this a bit shorter in so we need to include the bleed in this so we can make it 2.5 or 1.25 we should say all the way in so as to include the bleed if we don't include the bleed it will cut through the pattern and you probably don't want that to happen so we can bring that in just a little bit bring that in just a little bit just to make it a bit nicer and this way when they do the cutting it's not going to actually be too it's not going to affect it too much there we are and now we can redo that again now let's save that as scroll down to where it was making sure it's PDF making sure it's on the desktop and we scroll back down daily planner with border that's the one hit save as yes we want to overwrite it and that will do just nicely and it will once again save it and put it onto the desktop so I will wait for that to happen and we will come straight back after we pause the video. All right, we're back. Now, as you can see, I've just shrunk it down before we came back and this way I can show it to you much easier. And it does have quite a few pages, 366 pages. And there we are. So it is as simple as that. And you just now upload that into KDP. And on my next video, I'll be showing how that's done. But unfortunately, that will have to wait until next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And hey, if you got, if you like this video, why not smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay, guys, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.